Next topic, interior and exterior of an angle. Say, A O B is the angle. Now, interior means all point or the region, region lying inside this angle. Inside means this is the area. And this region, any point which lies inside this region, these are all points. These points are called interior point. And this area, this region is interior, interior of angle A O B. Second, exterior. This region which lies outside interior or remaining part, remaining part of the space is exterior of angle A O B. And all points lying in this area, this region, these points are exterior points. What about arm? If a point lies on the arm like this, like this, these points are points on arm. Not in interior, not in exterior, these are arm points. Okay? So, we have three types of points for any angle. Interior points lies inside the angle. Exterior points, point lying outside the angle or outside the interior and points on the arm. Now moving to exercise 10.4. Exercise 10.4. First question. Shade the interior of angle AOD in red. So drawing the angle first. This is the angle. A O in the line. This point is O. A D and this is B. So in the first part, shade the interior of A O D in red. So angle A O D. Interior of angle A O D means this is the reason. So we have to shade this part in red in red color A O D in red second part shade the exterior of angle B O D B O D so this part is interior and from B O D this complete part is showing or representing exterior of angle B O D so we have to shade exterior of BOD. So this is the part. Now shading exterior of BOD. This is BOD, exterior of BOD. All these lines are representing area or region of exterior of B O D only up to this line. Okay, so this is exterior of B O D. Next, name the portion which has only blue color. So part C. Name the portion which has only blue color or blue shade from B O and A. So the portion is angle B O A. In the portion which has only blue color, BOA has only blue color. Next, name the portion which is doubly shaded. Doubly shaded means blue and red. This is the portion. So, angle or portion A O D is doubly shaded
is there any portion left with only red color only red color no no okay the next question what is the interior of a straight angle what is the exterior of a straight angle so for a straight angle i think you are able to answer for a straight angle straight angle means a straight line this is vertex this is first point this is second point o a and b if you consider this part as interior then this is your exterior right so in both the cases this angle is 180 this angle is also 180 and if you consider this part this part as your interior so if this is your interior this must be exterior and if this is your in, uh, exterior this is your exterior exterior of angle a o b in both the cases the measure or the angle of interior and exterior are same so both angles angle interior is equal to must be equal to angle of exterior both are 180 degrees 180 degrees right in terms of area both area interior and exterior are same must be same for straight angle so answer second is what is the interior of a straight angle interior of a straight angle is half of the total region what is exterior of a straight angle again other half is the exterior and by area both are same by angles or by numerical value 180 180 next question question number three in the adjoining figure mark two points in each of the following portion so the figure is for question number three the figure okay and angles are one eight seven six two three four and five In the adjoining figure, mark two points in each of the following portion. First portion, common to the interior of angle 1 and angle 2. So, common to the interior of angle 1 and 2. Common means interior of angle 1. This area is interior of angle 1. So, the shaded area is showing interior of angle 1 including 2 and 3 this complete area is showing interior of angle 1 next interior of angle 2 this is angle 2 so this area is showing interior of angle 2 now second shading is for interior of angle 2 now common to both common to both means common to interior 1 and angle interior of angle 2 so, the common area is the region which is doubly shaded. This is the region. Now we have to mark two points. The first point is 
कैपिटल ए सेकेंड पॉइंट इज कैपिटल बी नेक्स्ट कॉमन टू इंटीरियर ऑफ एंगल एट एंड फाइव कॉमन टू द इंटीरियर ऑफ एंगल एट एंड फाइव इंटीरियर ऑफ एंगल एट दिस इज एंगल एट सो दिस एरिया बिलोंग्स टू द इंटीरियर ऑफ एंगल एट सो दिस इंटीरियर ऑफ एंगल एट इंक्लूडिंग फाइव एंड फोर And interior of five. This is five. So from five, this area is interior of angle five. Right. So common to both means again common area, the common region, space. common area again we have to mark two points c and d and last common to the exterior of angle 1 and interior of 7 exterior of angle 1 and interior of angle 7 so for third part again i am drawing Now in third case, common to exterior of one, this angle is one. So exterior of one means excluding this area. This area is exterior of one, right? And interior of seven, interior of seven. This is interior of seven. So this is the common area. This is the common area, and in the common area, we have to mark two points. So this is the region, common region B e and F. This point is F. This point is E. So for third question, first answer is point sir. Point sir, A and B. For second part, point sir, C and D. And for third part, part, point sir, A and F. Next exercise ten point five. Multiple choice question. First question: An acute angle is less than. We know that acute angle means angle less than ninety. So, answer one is C. Less than ninety degrees. Next, an obtuse angle lies between zero to one eighty. No, zero to three sixty. No. Ninety to one eighty, yes. One eighty to two seventy. For obtuse angle, the answer is C. Ninety degree to one eighty degree. Third question: The measure of the angle at a point is. So for a point at a point, total angle or measure of the angle is three sixty. One eighty, three sixty, ninety, and zero. Answer is three sixty. Fourth question: The complement of an angle of seventy-five degrees. So complement means ninety minus that angle seventy-five. You will get the answer fifteen degree. So the answer is fifteen. Fourth answer is the fifteen degree complementary of an angle of seventy-five. Next fifth question: The angle which equals its complement. Complement means two angles are there. First is complement of second, then total. 
sum of both angles is always 90 and if both angles are same then 90 by 2 means 45 is the answer it was only for angle 45 both first angle and second angle are equal so 45 is the answer so b 45 db is the answer sixth part the supplement of 135 is we know that for finding supplement 180 minus 135 degrees so the answer is 45 degrees a 45 degrees is the answer seventh question the angle which equals its supplement again supplement means total is 180 so half of 180 is 90 and 90 is the answer both angles are 90 then only we can say that angle and its supplement angle both are same so answer is 90 c 90 degrees eighth question the special name of two adjacent angles whose sum is 180 180 means it's a linear pair linear pair or straight angle so answer is C linear pair ninth question the angle which indicate which indicates half a turn half a turn means so full turn means 360 so half a turn means 180 so the answer is C 180 degree last name both the pairs of vertically opposite angles in the figure the figure is 1 2 3 4 here 1 and 3 1 and 3 these two angles are opposite, uh, vertically opposite angles and second pair is 4 and 2 so this is the answer a 1 3 and 4 2 this is the answer. Now I request you to please draw all the problems of exercise 10.2, 10.4 and 10.5. And if you have any doubt in chapter 10, please write your comments in the comment box. Thank you.